Who is he? You ever heard of South Bend Shovel Slayer? No. That's him. Back in 58, he murdered his whole family and half the people on his block. With the snow shovel. He walks up and down the streets every night, salting the sidewalks. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta throw the old worn out plastic blade down and just let her have it. It's a 455 big block right there. Blue glove right there on it. Frick. Partially naked. They don't even know this was six inches of slush this morning. They're busy doing what I consider sleeping in. So that's anything after 6 a.m. is sleeping into a boy like me. Come on. Her shovel game's not as strong as mine, boys. So yeah, we had about eight centimeters of uh, snow that hit last night. Started raining at like midnight. And uh, now it's 8 a.m. We've been plowing since three. Just plus five and, and raining. Could have went either way today. I was expecting maybe a, maybe eight centimeters of snow with a hard crust layer on top from the rain, because that's one thing you can get. The other thing you can get is what we did experience today, which is pure slush, which takes about three times as long to move. If you're a plow boy, you've been plowing, you know what pushing slush is like. It's a lot like trying to Throw a hot dog down a hallway, boys. She don't feel good. Down here plowing a little residential and I might have found some trouble here. A certified escort, boys. Cheap as can be. Salt Bay. Try it on the streets. Now this is the funny money lot. This is the back drag boy. I start by hitting the small alleyway on the side where the owners park their car. After that, I'm gonna bring her across the front. I'm gonna hit you with the Air Jordan, the MJ three point fadeaway right there. Then I'm gonna open up that road entry. Now check how slick this is. You go like this, 50% of the snow pushed to the far side. Leave the blade down, bring that other 50% back with you boys and girls. Tried and true technique right there. And now I'm just gonna work my way across the slot systematically but i start by dragging the wall i want to get the obstacles done first i do a technique where you slightly turn and you use the control to bring your blade so while you turn back and up see that bring the blade keep her in tight tight like a bond with a brother now you know what it's like so now we're going to systematically work this lot just like the system works me and you boy every year especially this insurance and these fuel rates what the heck is going on now, there's something I always forget in this lot, and that's that big hole right there that I just ran through. But I don't care. I got too much snow to plow, too many places to be. There's not enough time in the night, guys, to get this done before the sun rises. So we just got to do what we can. I start back dragging the other entryway there. This is a corner convenience store entry on both sides with a L-shaped lot. Now, the customers request the snow to be put in what I consider... A very bizarre location for your average thinker but they want the snow nestled right up beside the sidewalk because 90 percent of their customers literally park right in front of the door of the store and block the entire lot for every other person that exists so i back drag out that small parking area that nobody ever uses then i'll back the rig up into that area and i'll start pushing that snow all out toward the sidewalk where these folks want it okay and, uh, I mean, that's that. I keep it back enough that it uh, doesn't bung up the sidewalk too much. And the sidewalk rig can still get by there. Never had a call from the city yet. So, yeah, anyways, just another glimpse of a day in the life of the boy behind the wheel, the Hemi plow truck. Cheers. Well, that's that, folks. The small parking lot that I have no choice but to back drag the whole thing. Because the customers request that 
All the snow gets put here along the edge of the sidewalk. A lot that would take about two minutes to plow normally takes about 10 to back drag the whole thing. But uh, we're all about customer satisfaction over here at Dick Fast Industries, so okay, ain't on. There's that convenience store we did a couple hours ago. You can see she's milked and clean as a bean, baby. I didn't even salt that thing. Didn't even have to salt it because uh, I knew it was gonna be plus six and raining. So I'm keeping my salt for me for my dinner. I know anybody can do this stuff, guys. But my thing is efficiency. Not even, I could plow the whole lot and the job could be done and the customer could be happy, but I'm not happy. Unless I plowed it efficiently and I didn't have to do any extra work, I'm happy, okay? And when I'm out here, obviously everybody wants to keep the customer happy, boys. But what I focus on, number one I want to keep me happy and if I'm happy with the job I've done on a, on a lot there's absolutely no question that the customer's happy holy shit they're like a pig and shit when I'm done boy snow in the air plow boys are there baby spend 50% of the job with our arse in the wind boy you're gonna want to see what you're doing I suggest rain X original you're gonna take that and just douse those rear views boys douse some rear views good Wipe them down, wipe them down, boys. Rinse and repeat that sheasel right there. Rinse and repeat, we take that last one. Don't even wipe that last one. Bam, leave that. You're gonna be able to see about 75% better backing up, boys. When the snow hits that, it'll slide right off. Woo!